Hey everybody, um, so one thing that I like to do sometimes, because I'm actually a really c cool guy, is go on the internet and look at PragerU polls that they put on their community page. Um, it's just kind of a good time, honestly. You know, you, you, you go on YouTube, you go on PragerU, and you, see, and you see them publicly asking the question, the left today are more divisive than Karl Marx, agree or disagree? And you get to see 88% of PragerU's audience say, you know what, yeah, I know a little something or two about um, 19th century Europe, and I know that, yes... Karl Marx was less divisive than the modern left is today. It was better when Marx was writing about communism. These days, these, these days the communists are just a little too divisive. Everybody thought Marx was fucking based and loved him, and now they hate him. I actually don't know if that's true. I'm saying that sarcastically. I, I, I don't fucking know how divisive Karl Marx was in the 19th century. Maybe they're right. Maybe 88% of... Uh, PragerU's audience is right. Maybe the 12% are a bunch of fucking morons for deigning to believe that, no, Karl Marx was more divisive back then. I have no idea. To be fair to the 12%, though, Karl Marx was exiled for his beliefs, like, over and over and over again. Three times he was in cities and then was thrown out of the cities for writing about communism being cool. So, I don't know, it seems like he was dividing some people. Anyway, this isn't even the point of this video. This isn't even what I'm here to talk about today. No, what I'm interested in right now is a PragerU poll that is as follows. Imagine that tomorrow and for the rest of your days, one of these becomes true. Which do you choose? Twice as many people attend church slash temple regularly? Half as many people attend church regularly? The number of people attending church regularly remains the same. So this is kind of a boring question, but I just love, love the way that first sentence is written. Imagine that tomorrow and for the rest of your days, one of these becomes true. Like, you're asking people if they w would prefer for church attendance to go up. Why are you writing it like it's a, like a prophecy tomorrow and for the rest of your days? None of the other polls are written like that. None of the other polls are written like some ancient sage penned them. Who, who wrote that one? That's, that was what I'm here to tell you.